I will now show you something about coding okay so let me let me open a document here and uh, let me say that I want to create a new set of codes plus sign on top corner on the left new codes I want to know something about the origin of the population of service recipients uh, this health center directors were asked about who they serve in their clinics I also want to know about the health issues that affect them uh, and I also want to know about what they do what do people who receive services do what is their occupation and these codes have been created and added into the uh, into our, our, our list of codes another way of doing that is by going to uh, the code manager plus and enter more codes uh, I will create one called health services I want to know about health services as well as, as, well as uh, social services I'm interested in knowing that uh, normally what you would do is you would go here uh, to your uh, code uh, list in the manager and you would write a definition uh, definition of your codes well you can also color this codes which is so simple and I will do I will show that to you right away those two have to do with services so I will select a color purple this have to do with with uh, uh, characteristics of service recipients therefore I will color them all let's say blue and now the the, the codes have been colored alright now I will go into my uh, my document so I will open one of them and I will select a segment of this and I will say that this has to do with the origin of people where they come from who they are but I want to go beyond that I want to specify something about their origin I want to capture the specificity of that I right click and I create a new code because what I want to code this for the code for that does not exist right click add code and I will create a code that I will call rural origin or just rural so that was a way of creating a code in a bottom-up way okay so that code emerged from reading the text so you read the text you selected a segment and you ask yourself what is this about a code does not exist to represent that therefore you create a new one right click here well no I'm gonna code with 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 uh, uh, yes health issues drag and drop Oh, now I want to create a new code in here and this has to do with occupation and once again I will right click add a new code and I want to capture the specificity of that therefore I select I create I mean uh, new codes for that okay perfect now let me go to another document oh here I have a video document that was opened a quotation was created earlier but I left it free I did not want to code it at the time but let's say that now I do want to code it I select a segment I'm sorry the list of codes here and I say that this has to do with the origin of people I drag and drop it on top of that quotation let's say I select another one I go to the audio wave and I, I select a segment a quotation is created and I can either drag and drop one of the existing codes or right click add a new code that is going to be called uh, urban health okay and the code is connected to that particular uh, quotation let me get here uh, this document that is a a, a, uh, a picture select the segment of the picture and either right click add code and 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 create a new code for that um, or you select the segment of the picture and you drag and drop a particular code into this selection okay let me get another document here which is the uh, uh, this this PDF now I'm gonna use my touchpad here and the touchpad I'm making this text a little bit larger there uh, magnifying uh, the view I select a segment how much you select that's a methodological decision again now I will say that this has to do with with health services so I look for the code health services right there there it is inside of it 
Well, this has to do with pediatric services. So I'm going to select a segment of this, a picture inside of the PDF, and I will write down pediatric services. I can also select a, a segment of the text, and that segment in itself uh, will become uh, the code. This is called in vivo coding. So I will select 1978 Alma Ata declaration and that I want to create to I want to become the code. Right click code in vivo. You see now 1978 Alma Ata declaration that became a code connected to this particular quotation. Let me see now what we can do with our coding. Uh, I will open this, this project that is more coded. Well, uh, the code origin has eight quotations. Let's examine them in context. One, audio quotation. Oops, I don't have to double click, okay? Just click once. Two, video quotation. another one, another one, another one, and so on, okay? So that's what you do when you code, and that's how you can revisit your quotations in context. All right, I will continue with other things. Thank you.